So here's a quick overview of some of the tweets I selected in video format. Week 1, 2001 Space Odyssey was probably not the strongest start to my live tweeting career. Uh, I tried early on to make a few tweets that had links and factual information and then rapidly gave up on that and started just reacting to what was going on screen and trying to make funny observations. Um, the two tweets I did choose, as you can see in the blog post, were the ones that were probably the most well received. So for week two, Westworld, I aimed on replying more than generating my own conversations and commentary throughout the film. Um, I did enjoy this week more as I was trying to tie my philosophy learnings from university into the discussion and also had a pretty good conversation with Chris and Shayla regarding whose fault it is when technology does go off the rails. This week did feel like it went a lot better than the previous. So for week three we watched Blade Runner and this film I feel like I did somewhat worse in terms of participation. Um, I was looking around for conversations and there were a few interesting discussions around um, what it meant to be human and immortality and the faults with it, which are highlighted in the tweets I, I picked this week. Um, but I did struggle to keep up with the plot of the film as well as, you know, just finding interesting things to say about it. So week four, Ghost in the Machine. It was a more fun week to participate in than the previous week. Um, there was a change in tone of the film, which could be, could be attributed to the film being produced by a Japanese organisation rather than Hollywood. Uh, so a completely different perspective on what the future could be, uh, which is highlighted in one of the tweets I made. The other tweet that I chose to highlight from this week was a bit of an opportunity to talk philosophy on what it means to be alive and the nature of one's memory and how we all might be based on a fiction of our own creation. This week it felt like I had more of a balance between watching the film and commenting. Uh, finally, week five, we watched The Matrix, which is a film that I absolutely love. And I think because of that, I struggled to keep up with the live tweeting because I was just so engrossed in all my favorite moments in that film. Uh, when I did remember that I had to live tweet, I had a lot of discussion regarding choice and destiny and participated in the ongoing debate about whether I would take the red pill or the blue pill. Uh, I would definitely take the red pill and then regret it. So it was also interesting this week to see people who had not seen the film before uh, and their reactions to what was going on. Uh, overall, compared to week one, I feel like I have made some great progress in live tweeting. However, there are a few areas that I've identified that I can improve on. Um, as much as I enjoy going into these films blind, I do think that I should prepare something ahead of time, so I've got more things to talk about. Uh, as well as maybe not starting so many conversations and rather finding uh, conversations that are ongoing that I can participate in. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me.